in this video we are doing a world's first. We're going to be reviewing a carbon plated running shoe in a prayer manger. What is up guys and welcome to Pret. The film, the film set that is Pret. And size here, and we've just finished, look, we've just finished 10K in those. And Adam, we're filming the world's first. So we thought we'd, um, as always, do a very serious video about these shoes because I gave the uh, Wave Rebellion Pro to Simon today for the purpose of uh, running the winter 10K here in London. Um, a little bit about, give the shoe actually, Sai, while you're sitting there doing that. So, before we get into how you got on. Tripod. 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 But we've got dual density foam here, carbon plate here, which you can see there. Then we've got G, whatever it is, midsole, mesh upper, job done. Now, the shoe I think comes out in <coughs> Feb something or other. Um, it's going to be £210 from the top of my head. Um, bad, bro. No, it's not bad. But it is a Mizuno's marathon shoe. You've got the energy foam in there, the energy uh, light foam. So you've got the two compounds with the with the, the plate in there, and it's quite an aggressive plate as well. The shoe weighs about, from, from memory, it's about eight ounces in my UK nine and a half. They don't fit through the size. Mine come up small. Um, I am only an eight and a half. Yeah, there, he's got the eight, and he's got my nine and a halves on, and he's an eight and a half. Um, so. They've, he's got plenty of room in there, but they're, 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 they're fine to go. Um, and yeah, so that's about the shoe. Now we we'll get on to how we got them in there. Right, so talk to us about the shoe. They were actually really good, to be fair. Yeah. If you're going at it like it was today, they were very stable. So uh, what did you run firstly today in the end? It was 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. So not, not hanging about. 7, 10 a mile. Yeah, so 7, 10 per mile. You weren't hanging about. But did, how, how, because they're really, with the, the way that shoe's set up, with that big cut out of the back, it's to promote you really to move forward through the stride. You was on your toes, but you, you felt comfortable, it felt quite a natural position to be on your toes, it felt right. good. Yeah. And I'm surprised, I would say you could, I thought you could only, I would struggle maybe to run to, to like a half marathon, but if you was going at it, you could run a half marathon and it's easy. But I think if you slowed down, you could have trouble. Really? Yeah. Would you uh, would you run a marathon in it? If you was going at it, you could. Really? Yeah. Not. I know it sounds sick. You couldn't do it at the at the speed we would run at. Oh right. So you you've got to be, you've got to be running like seven minute miles below seven to seven fifteen yeah. to get to start getting the max out of it. And that's the thing I noticed that when I was in it. It's it is it's really aggressive setup. Yeah. You can't. It, it's um. If you can run them paces and you can keep them going, I think it's a very good shoe. Right. But if you you couldn't go right, I'm going to run 20 miles. Yeah. And then go, I'm going to drop down because okay. you would it just do. You, and I, I just don't think you'd be better off in other shoes. Okay. So look, you've got Adios Pro 3 at home, Vaporfly. You've got the Next Percent um, Vaporfly. Sorry, Alpha Fly. Next Percent. Uh, you've got the Metaspeed Sky. Out of those, which do you compare that to the most? Probably the, the vapor fly. Yeah? Yeah. That quick? It's a, yeah, it's a good vapor fly, is it? Really? Easy, yeah. So, all right, rate the shoe out of 10 for, for, for absolute speed and performance, out of 10 rate it. Eight and a half. Really? Yeah. So you so you would recommend that people to have a look at it? I'm not going to I would consider buying a pair. Yeah? I would consider buying a pair. Seriously. Okay. Yeah. They're that good? Yeah, they are really good. They are really good. Uh, would you be interested to see what they were like over half marathon distance? Yeah. If you was going, let's say we went, I don't know, uh, uh, Cambridge Half, right? You've got to push out 140 something, right? Probably 142. Would you Would you wear them? Yeah, you could You could wear them for that, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you could. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's what we do. Let us know in the comments. Should he wear them at the Cambridge Half? So you, you could wear them at the Cambridge Half easily. Yeah. yeah. I could, I'd put it this way. I'd wear these. But I wouldn't wear my vapor flies. I think that tells you everything you need to know. So it's a quick shoe, but it's not mental like the vapor fly, but it's, it's close. I wouldn't wear the vapor fly more than 10k. 
And even then, at the end of the 10k, I'm like, get them off my feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve, I'm alright them. You can walk around and then they're alright. You know what I mean? Comfortable. Interesting. So there we go. Right, okay, people. So that's the take. Uh, that's a race review of the Wave Rebellion Pro. As I said, it comes out um, soon over here in the UK. Big shout out to Mizuna for supplying the shoes for us. Uh, Mizuna UK. Um, yeah, I think they look awesome as well in that in that print, don't they? In all fairness, they are leery, <laughs> but you can get away with it. If you just wear a plain outfit, you wear with camo. Oh yeah, I look amazing. Right, say, amazing. right, say bye guys. Bye guys. Right, there we go. That's it. So, let us know in the comments, should he wear them for the Cambridge half? I think he should. Stay tuned, we'll find out. I'll catch you later.